Tammy Raw Ottawa Showcase is returning Friday, September 20th, and this time around it's called Arise. We're going to get to more details right now with the fabulous artist right here from the nation's capital, Haley McKeel. Uh, Haley McKeel Art, but you've been all over the place, not just Ottawa. I mean, your studies. Wow, like you, you are very learned. You're, you're educated. Yeah, definitely, like right across Canada. So <laughs> yeah. Born in Nova Scotia, raised in BC, did my degree in fine arts at Langara Community College there, and then transferred my credits over and finished up my bachelor's in fine arts, graduating with honors at Concordia University. My goodness. Yeah. Well, congratulations on all that. Thank and you. I understand you're, you're still continuing your education. I am. So I'm working on a second undergrad now, an honors bachelor's in psychology. Hmm. So I want to combine the two disciplines and eventually do a master's in fine arts uh, for art therapy. That is something. We'll yeah. get into that in more detail coming up in just yeah. a bit. Can you tell us a bit about Raw Ottawa? Because uh, they've had plenty of showcases throughout the years. This is the first time you're attending It's one? the first time I'm attending, mm -hmm. uh, but I have done similar type of events, and it's a really great time. So it's across Canada, and this one particularly in Ottawa brings together artists in the community of multidisciplinary, so everything from fashion, music, fine arts, uh, there'll be drinks, mm -hmm. and it's a really great time to network and mm -hmm. see what's in your community for mm -hmm. the arts. Uh, do you know it's at St. Bridget's Church? Yes. Yeah. So now, what do you think about that? Cause it's an old church. It's an old church. It turned into like a showcase uh, I, sort of area. I think it's a really interesting concept to kind of revamp old buildings that have lost their purpose for what they are at that time uh, and now using them for these sort of events. It makes it a very interesting venue for art. Very cool. Yeah, really good time. You talked about this showcase being multidisciplinary and you mm. say your artwork is also That's multidisciplinary. Right. So, so how do you categorize it in, in your own words for what you do? Yeah, so I don't just limit myself to one medium. I graduated with uh, my major being in sculpture, so I do prefer welding when I have a chance. Really? Yeah, so so, but there's not always access to certain materials and studio space, so I like to kind of take it from everywhere, some seamstress work, to painting, to drawing, to performance art. Mm -hmm. I think it's good to keep it open and really diverse your field to see what's out there okay. and cross them all together. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about drawing for a second. I know there's lots of great examples on your website, but yes. do you have uh, examples on you? Yes, like, I do. literally on you. So, I do. <laughs> so you, you've designed tattoos, and I know there's one on your lower leg. I but do. A little uh, hard to show. Let's look at the one that's on your arm. You you, you designed that yourself? Yeah, so it's just over here. Uh, it was originally a painting and a drawing, and it's actually kind of what triggered everything I'm doing. There you go, you can see it right there. It triggered everything that I'm doing currently with uh, geometric, abstract sort of art, both in painting and drawing. That's cool. Yeah. All right. So I wanted to get that on to me, and a good friend of mine did the tattoo for me, but it's my original design. Is it cool to have your own original design on you? It is. It's actually my favorite piece that I yeah. have. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk about these other pieces. So you were saying you're a seamstress. Is I am. So, so what exactly is happening with these pieces? They're, so they're I, fluffy, they're, they're, they're comfortable fluffy, looking. They're furry, they're fun. So one of the bigger influences in my art career is my festival going so that's music and performance and all that and I custom make these hoods here hmm. so I've had clients come and they say oh I really want an owl hood and then I custom make an owl hood for example hmm. so this is my own personal one it's a little uh, winter fox so you get to wear them, and they've got little pockets that you can put stuff in. Yeah, really? Yeah, so, okay. you know, kind of allows people to kind of be free in themselves, I find, when they put them on at um, these festivals. If I, if I try one on, would, would it be considered used after? I don't want it to. <laughs> no, no, please, please. I? It would be my pleasure. Yeah, yeah so, give so them a try. This. So sorry, which one is this then? What, what so this, this is the Winter Fox. The Winter Fox. So it just goes on, yeah. <laughs> And you just pop them on like this, and you've Pretty got, cool. in yours, you've got little paws, little pockets here. You can slip your little hands in. They oh, might be nice. a little small for you because they're made for yeah. my tiny hands. Okay. And you got the little paws. All right. Yeah, and it's a really fun time, and people like to wear them, dance around. You know, it's a good time. You're so, okay with this? Is oh, please, yeah. Please, okay. no, no, no. Because I know a... the viewer right now is quite enjoying that. <laughs> 
Christmas shopping. And else. hopefully it doesn't mess up your hair too much. Well, it probably will. But <laughs> you're worth it. Okay, so your role at Raw then. I mean, what are you you going to be doing? Because you're going to be uh, actually doing like uh, you're going to be doing artwork as yeah. the night progresses. Yeah, that's right. So I'm showcasing some new pieces I've been working on that are very exciting. Mm -hmm. Some drawing, painting combinations, and I'm actually going to do some live painting there. I usually like to do live painting at events. I find it's a great way to engage the audience, you know, the viewer to come in and feel like they can access the art, yeah. really meet the artist, see what art's about and not feel like it's some other level that they can't obtain or understand. Okay. I like so, art to be accessible. And, and that's, that's amazing too. So outside of Raw Ottawa Rise happening on the 20th, where can people uh, see your artwork. If they can't make it to this event, I think it's important that we promote where you'll, where you'll be found. Yeah, so I'm always trying to post on Instagram, which is at hasramarts. Mm -hmm. dot at hasram.arts okay. and I have my website www.haleymikielart.com I also try to stay active on social media and really I'm just trying to get active in the Ottawa art community mm -hmm. right now so I Perfect. am yeah well we wish you all the best oh thank you so much Raw, Ottawa. thank and you thank you for allowing me to wear your oh please you look it suits you <laughs> more daytime coming up